Dr. Janine Krauss, and today I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot in my office. The question is, are smoothies healthy for you? My answer is always, it depends. Why? Because a lot of people don't have the digestive system strength to be able to tolerate smoothies. Smoothies are often frozen, right? They're cold. We use frozen berries. We use frozen bananas. We use frozen other types of fruit. And so you add that frozen fruit into the blender, and then you add some cold water on top of it or cold alternative milk or milk. Maybe you put some yogurt in there, and you have a very cold gut bomb. So all that cold stuff gets in the gut, and it numbs the area out. You're not going to be able to digest that very well. And then make a habit of this on top of everything, so day in, day out, you're drinking a smoothie after a smoothie after a smoothie, what ends up happening is you start to feel very cold internally. Sometimes you end up with diarrhea, and sometimes you end up having swelling from the knees down. So your ankles actually become cankles. So when my patients ask me about smoothies, I typically look at their digestive system first. So if you are a type of person that has a digestive system that's already had a tendency towards diarrhea, you're already feeling cold internally. You do not want to start a smoothie regimen, nor do you want to start a raw foods diet. You're already cold internally. This is a Chinese medicine thing in terms of temperature. Anyone who feels cold internally notices that they can't drink cold drinks, they prefer warm drinks, smoothies are going to be digestive suicide for you. So I don't recommend it. However, if you're kind of craving it and you want something, one of the best ways to warm up a smoothie is to add some fresh ginger. Ginger's warming Chinese-wise. Add some fresh cinnamon, add in some vanilla bean, add in some cloves. Think about all those spices that we use in chai tea, all those spices we use around the holidays. All of those things like nutmeg, cardamom, those are warming. And so that'll help with the overall energetics of your smoothie. Now the other option is to drink tea before your smoothie. That's another great way to go about it. The other big issue that I have with smoothies is that more often than not, the smoothie is loaded with fruit and doesn't have much in terms of protein or veggie in there. That's not great because it's no different than having a big sugar cereal in the morning. That fruit in that smoothie is gonna spike your blood sugar and then you're gonna come down with a big huge crash 20 minutes 30 minutes, an hour later. If you do the smoothie in the morning, oftentimes your cortisol is high, and so now you oftentimes have a double spike in your blood sugar and then a drop. So my recommendation is that if you're interested in smoothies, you want to definitely look at your digestive system overall. If you are anywhere near a tendency towards a colder digestive system, you feel cold internally, you do not want to start a smoothie regimen. If you have a normal digestive system, you know, you're going to the bathroom once a day, you don't seem to be sensitive to temperatures, sure, go for it. But make sure that your smoothies have more vegetables in them than they do fruit. And use room temperature vegetables. Don't use frozen stuff. It's going to just cold, just put that cup cold, cold gut bomb in your belly, and it doesn't work out so well in the end, especially if you do it day in, day out. My other recommendation is to keep the smoothies to maybe once or twice a week, not an everyday thing. Now, of course, if you're on a fast or something of that nature, you can always amend these things, but talk to your doctor, talk to your naturopath first before you go and just jump in to a hardcore smoothie schedule. You don't want to ruin your digestive system because it is core to your health. I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for watching.